good. I am doing my, I'm going to rotate here, guys. I'm going to do the green machine that I call uh, my green machine that I love, absolutely love. I don't know if the connection is uh, good, guys. Uh, can someone let me know? My connection at home is not so, so great. And so um, I'm just kind of testing. I rarely can move my phone. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you. Um, here's a recipe. It's something that I've done a couple times, and I call it my Nada's Green Machine. And I use some of the basic ingredients, but today I used uh, a very special ingredient that I love. is from the tropics, and uh, I'm going to point it out just here in a second, but I'm just trying the connection because I am not sure I am connecting to anyone right now. Um, if someone can please let me know if you have, if you see, first of all, if you see the, if you see a title, I would very much appreciate it if you, someone could tell me if you see a title, because I am testing the connection. Um, I've been having some issues connecting at home as of late, and I just wanted to make sure. Um, and it just may seem that I may not have good enough of a connection. Hmm. All right, guys. Hola, Sally Blues. How are you? Sally, can you please do me a favor and check if I if I have a title? Uh, I'm not sure I'm connecting all that well to Periscope. Um, I tried to do a scope yesterday and uh, I was not really connecting all that well. But um, it's good to see you here, guys. I'm doing my... Hi, Devin in Chicago. How are you? Hi, Andrew. Hi, guys. Um, now, that, now that I moved the phone, I think I may be able to connect a little bit better. Can someone tell me, Andrew or David, uh, can someone tell me, Hi, Andrew. Good to see you, sweetie. Good to see you. If I have a title on my scope, because I don't have that great of a connection at home. And uh, I am just testing. Uh, testing, testing, testing. <laughs> and more testing. Good to see you all. How's everybody doing? It was great to see you earlier. Um... David in Chicago. Good to see you. Title is there. Perfect. Excellent. Yes, title. Yes, guys. So we can continue. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just doing my uh, my typical Nada's green machine. Good to see you all. The recipe is right here. I am using some of my regular ingredients, which are the spinach, papaya, carrots, chia, and flax seeds, ginger. Excellent. Thank you, Sally Blues. And this very, very special ingredient guys tamarind tamarind which this one in particular i actually brought from all the way from puerto rico as you know i'm from puerto rico and i was back there in november this one is dry this cannot be used anymore but this is a tamarind guys if you haven't seen it if who likes by the way who likes uh pad thai who likes the most popular dish in Thai cuisine is Pad Thai. Who likes Pad Thai? Who likes Pad Thai? Because this is the main flavoring of the Pad Thai, which is the tamarind. It's a pulpy, kind of tangy. So you've been having a lot of this without even knowing it. So this is actually the fresh Pad Thai, please. Yes, Andrew, right? So let me see if I can reach in. Uh, I can reach in. I cannot move my phone. I have such bad connection. But it comes in this, you know, skin that is kind of brittle and it's all covered. This is kind of on, on shell. This is the shell. The shell is really brittle. But I grew up climbing onto trees and getting a lot of these and they are so delicious. And I was just looking at the uh, health properties of tamarind and it's amazing. It's got vitamin C, AHAs. You could even use it to lighten your skin, brighten your skin. It's unbelievable what this has and of course it has fiber so I used to grow up it's good for you on the inside and out <laughs> but you would wonder how it is that I'm going to be using this right so what I did is the following so I went to Puerto Rico back in November and uh, I brought back a bag of tamarinds and let, let's wait let's see if the camera focuses back again let's force it into focusing all right here we go Thank you, guys. Thank you for the love and hearts. Thank you for being here and your time, most of all. All right, so let me tell you. Getting to the nitty-gritty. <laughs> so, all right, so I brought a bag full of this, right? It was like almost a pound of this. 
and so what you do because the pulp is like really it's kind of fleshy as a matter of fact let me kind of split open this so I, so I can show you it uh, this one is really dry because it's been out here so this is kind of what it looks like on the inside I don't know if the camera is going to focus but basically what happens is that these kind of nubby sections are seeds so what you do is you take this and I took about a pound of it and you put it in water this is already in water I separated it you unshell it you wash it and then you soak it for a couple of hours and then all the pulp comes off of it and separates from the seeds and so what I did is I actually separated it and put this in the freezer so immediately and so what you see right here is actually the water with the pulp and everything and that's what I'm going to be using pop and all. Thank you guys. Good to see you here. Um, thank you so much for the hearts and the love. And so that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you. I get really excited about tamarind because it's, you know, is that one fruit that I grew up um, eating a lot. And uh, a lot of people may not see, may not uh, know a lot of the uses it's got. And it's amazing. And of course, so let me go through the some of you already have been here, and so you know. But uh, I just wanted to point out that I'm going to be using the spinach, of course. Or it's already washed. I let it thaw in the freezer, yes. But you could store it for months. You could store it for months. And I do a lot of... I put a lot of things on cans, guys. Um, I save uh, on jars, on glass jars. I save a lot of things on jars, even in the freezer. Of course, you know, I don't. I don't have the lid when it's in the freezer. I freeze things, and then I... And then I put the lid on them. Um, so we got the spinach. Spinach, as you know, washed it with vinegar. Very important to wash. Uh, the papaya. David, this is almost about the last papaya that I have. Can you believe it? This is papaya, guys. It's already frozen. So you see it, it looks kind of wet. And it's it's soft, but it's it's a little bit frozen still. You can see some of the little frozen. All of this is for... <laughs> foreign for Dave and I'm going to be using some carrots some baby carrots guys carrots are very important a lot of vitamin A a lot of fiber and they contain a lot of sugar but it's natural sugar right so it's not bad for you and I'm going to use what I typically use on my native green machine <laughs> you joined a, su a support pizza group <laughs> and I have here uh, let me point out you guys have seen it before but I'm going to point it out again these are flax seeds and chia seeds. For those of you who may not have seen, flax seeds on the right and chia seeds. Chia seeds. Chia seeds are amazing. Hi, Mokhtar. How are you? Welcome to my Natives Green Machine Scope, which I'm not sure if you have seen, but I'm just presenting all the ingredients. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for the love and hearts. And uh, Mokhtar, Mokhtar, salut, bienvenue, bienvenue. Uh, have you ever seen this this uh, fruit, Mokhtar? This fruit right here. Oh, it lost the shell. Finally, it lost the shell. I'm not making a cake. I'm making my Nada's Green Machine. You came to eat desserts? <laughs> well, if you came to eat desserts... <laughs> you know what I have here still, guys? Watch out. What? One second. So I'm a big, not sure, <laughs> I'm a big proponent uh, of freezing things. So I don't know how many of you were in my, uh, my latest donut scope, but look guys, I brought home the donuts. This is the vegan donut. I froze it. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for inviting followers. <laughs> Invite your followers, guys. <laughs> this is so hilarious. Yes, this is your frozen donut, Tony. Here, here it is. I brought it home. <laughs> it's frozen. It's hard as a rock. <laughs> I brought him home. And I thought, oh, let me have him tomorrow. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, a little bit over a week ago. Yes, there you go, guys. And then, uh, so did I go through all the ingredients? Yes, I have the spinach. I have the papaya. I have the carrots, I have the tamarind. Uh, no waste with the nada. Yeah, you know, Mokhtar, so I brought my tamarinds from Puerto Rico and then I soaked them in water. And then I uh, 
you know, remove the seeds. Do you know what tamarinds are, Mokdar? It is the main flavor and main flavor and ingredient in pad thai. Main flavor and ingredient in pad thai, and it brightens your skin. It's good for you inside and out. It's yummy, very very yummy. And this is the recipe, Mokdar. In case you missed it. And then the last thing that I have not shown, which I also freeze, and let me let me uh, also show something that relates to freezing, guys. So I freeze a lot of things because that's a great way to preserve fresh ingredients. So I'm going to show you what happens. And sometimes I forget about some of the ingredients I have there because I like to have them as fresh as possible. I typically have a lot of things frozen just for the sake of convenience. Tamarind is, is in West Africa as well. Oh, yeah. And you cook with it? Yeah. And the trop you're going to find tamarind in the whole tropical belt all around, all around the world. So this is fresh ginger, right, guys? I use the cubes and I also slice. I froze this at the same time as I, f uh, the same time I froze the papaya. I froze these. Uh, but this is the fresh, right? This is the freeze-dried ginger, guys. Look, this is what happens. And ginger, too, yes. And I use the ginger in teas. I grab, like, a, this little amount. A little amount like this, and I put it on, on teas, and I make my ginger and lemon teas fresh, guys. Ginger and lemon tea. And this is uh, the ginger one is freeze-dried. It's more like freeze-dead. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mokdar. This is something that I do uh, very often. You know, I do my, my green drinks very often, and one time I just share them because you would not believe that a friend of mine had never seen a papaya. So I, you know, he'd never seen a papaya. And the papaya that I got was like this big. It was like humongous. It was like really, really amazing. So I'm going to blend, guys. Introduce yourselves. <laughs> Give me a second. I unfortunately, Mokdar, cannot move my phone in my home. So I have issues with that. I don't have... So I'm going to put all the ingredients on the blender. I got my spinach. Why is it not possible to share th juice through your Periscope? I know, Mokta, right? You would love this. Okay, papaya going in. Some of the carrots going in. And I used to put like uh, either soy milk or almond milk on my, on my green drinks, guys. But because sometimes I uh, take the uh, green drinks with me on the road. And some other time I will show you some of the... Uh, I'll do a container a scope about the containers that I use. You would exchange hearts for juice? Yes, absolutely. Wouldn't that be great? I know. You know, I want to exchange uh, food for, uh, for hearts. Food for hearts, I know. There's a few scopers that are really so good. And, oh my God, I cannot reach into... One second, guys. <laughs> it's so good to see you all. I'll show, I'll show myself here in a second once I've blended. Good to see you, Mokdar. That's uh, the new Leal station is amazing. You had donuts for for lunch. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. You uh, you catch Mokdar, right, guys? If you haven't seen the new the new uh, station in Paris, is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, so I got everything, guys. I have the spinach, the carrot, the papaya, the ginger. The uh, chia seeds and flax seeds. And let me blend, guys. Isn't it amazing? Because I want to show you the final product. And the tamarind, of course. Quick blend. <laughs> and where's my, uh, here's my glass. Here we go, guys. Let me put it right here so you guys can see the pour. The new station structure is amazing. It is amazing. Here we go, guys. Miguel's green machine. Hola, Pedro Augusto. How are you? Good to see you all. Bienvenidos a todos. Share the juice. Share the juice. Oh, and it's so yummy. Oh, it's so yummy. So yummy, guys. 
I, uh, yeah, somebody asked me that, Andrew, sometime before. Uh, the blender I would recommend is the blender that you would finally use. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mokhtar. <laughs> if you're not, and if you're not breaking blenders, you're not using them enough. <laughs> I keep it real, baby. Keep it real. That's right. You're going to get a ninja. I wish I had a ninja. But no, you know, if I wait for the ninja, then I won't have my green drink. It's better that I have my green drink and no, you know, no fancy blender, right? So at some point, I am on my third. Uh, your ninja is coming today. Excellent. I want to see your scopes too. Uh, I am on my third blender, like in the, in the last four years. Yeah. <laughs> I break a lot of blenders. <laughs> but that's because I put a lot of frozen things in there. So anyways, anyway, guys, that is it. This is the results. Nader's Green Machine. What if you are already a ninja? Well, then you won't have any problems, Andrew. <laughs> oh, you guys crank me up. Anyway, guys, with this, I'm going to wrap it. Unless you, wanna, you guys want to talk about uh, gluten-free things. Oh, yeah, let me show you guys. So uh, some of you may not have seen. Hello, Pete. How are you? Some of you may not have seen Chia and where it comes from. Um, this is Chia. And what's really unbelievable is like, look, guys, this is how chia is so good for you. Okay. I'm going to take this opportunity to just point it out. Okay. This is how chia is so good for you. Okay. So this is this supplement facts, right? Look at this list. It's unbelievable. All right. So it's got, you know, all the things that are not, are considered not needed for you. Uh, self-punishment, Mokdar. That, I guess that would be the term is self-punishment. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Some other time I'll show you something that's bad for you. This is good for you. So this is the list. I, let me see if I can get it close to the camera, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to read it. It's got all these. Okay, so this is the, uh, you know, typically in the U.S. you have the calories, the fat, the, the carbs, et cetera, et cetera the trace minerals, and these are the ones that are recommended for you, for you, let me see, can I focus, can I focus, I, I'm going to have to move the phone, self-punishment, yes, <laughs> here we go, guys, so this is what's recommended for you, right, by the FDA, by the Food Drug Administration, and, you know, the measurements for, you get the measurements for calcium, phosphorus, zinc, manganese, and, pota and potassium, right, See if the camera can focus. All right. And you have the percentages because they are recommended, right? Let's see if the camera focus, focuses, focuses. Uh, no, it's, it is an LG Flex. This is all the stuff we won't eat tonight. Yeah, very likely. Hmm. But then these are the ones that are not recommended, but still the Chia Seeds has it, which is, let's see if the camera focuses finally. Let me see. No. Um... It's also because of the lighting. Hold on. Ah, here we go. So it's got all these other things that are not needed according to the FDA, right? But you got alanine, arginine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamate, glycine, all these amazing things for you. Lysine, proline, serine, try tryptophan, uh, tyrosine, all these things, and omega-3s. And it's got 178% of omega-3s. Hi, Aileen. How are you? Good to see you guys. There you go. This is chia seeds for you. And that is the only ingredient. Organic chia seeds. Chia seeds. There you go, guys. You wanted to know what chia seeds were. Do we eat this after having pizza? Yes. Yes, Tanner. <laughs> Good to see you guys. And you see, chia seed is an ancient Aztec food, vegan source of omega-3s, vitamins, and trace minerals, support, supports healthy digestion with 5 grams of fiber per serving. Absolutely, David. It, this is a relatively quick scope, guys. I just wanted to do my green machine. And then you can buy things. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not promoting uh, Mama Chia here. But a friend of mine who's Mexican was the one who introduced me to this uh, company, Mama Chia. I started drinking chia on a drink. 
and it's so unbelievable. It gives you so much energy, guys, and it's so good for you. But then they started, Mama Chia actually started doing some, um, you know, like uh, granolas. And a friend of mine just gave them to me. And I said, oh, thank you so much. My friend adores me. I adore him. And so he's got all kinds of great things for you. Gluten-free, 1,500 milligrams of omega-3s. All that goodness for you. So good, guys. So good for you. Anyway, with that, I leave you because I got to wrap it. I got to do a lot of things, including working on my computer. But uh, just to show you again, this is the uh, the mystery the mystery ingredient is tamarind. This one I brought from Puerto Rico. It's already dry. It's not going to be used. I just have this for display purposes only, guys. And this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. And it's got these amazing seeds, and it's so good for you. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to follow up. I already put um, the picture of the recipe and the ingredients on Twitter. And I'm just going to add a link uh, that I found that is really good on the properties of, properties of tamarind. And you can actually go to the um, Asian markets and get this on powder or puree if you want to. Safe, but that you know that's the point when you start uh, thinking of doing your own pad thai because it's the main ingredient for pad thai. So with that, I leave you guys. It's great to see you here. I adore you all. Uh, goodbye to everybody who joined. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the the happy look, happy look. <laughs> so good to see you all. With this, I leave you. Oh, the camera. I'm having issues with light. I'm gonna have to get better better lighting for my for my place here connection is not so good oh connection 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 anyway so to your health Magdar it's great to see you uh, with this I leave you it's great to see you all connection connection oh I see the connection you guys went in and out oh my god it's so good guys absolutely yummy 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 all right, guys, it's great to see you here. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your time with me. And I hope you do something healthy, even if you eat pizza after. <laughs> do something healthy for you. Oh, yeah, connection must have dropped. I'm still testing um, I'm still testing the connection in my house. I don't know. Frozen pizza. Absolutely, Mokdar. Good to see you. Um, I will see you in your scopes. I hope to see you in Paris. I hope to see you, Tony, in Texas. We were watching, uh, we were, um, absolutely, David, in Chicago. Good to see you. Good to see you. Are you going to do any more scopes today, David? Absolutely. Um, 5 p.m. tonight. Right, guys, today is the uh, shuttle launch. 5 p.m. tonight at what time um, What time zone? Texas? Is Texas on... What is Texas? Texas is on mountain or center? Central time. Or does it have two time zones? 4 p.m. Eastern, you think. Central. Does... Uh, it is on central time. Okay, so it's a two-hour difference from here. Hmm. So, uh, Tony and I were watching... Uh, that big old crane that was moving. I kept asking, so what is it moving? What is it moving? Because the guy was not really showing it. Um, he was just moving the platform for the shuttle. He was um, not moving the shuttle itself. Anyway, guys, good to see you here. I will see you on some scope later. I got to be busy. Got to wrap up my day. But with this, I leave you. Bye, everybody. Good to see you all. Merci, merci. Gracias a ti, Mokhtar. I'm, I'm confused too. He can't answer it detailed. You know what, guys? I'm going to put it out right here, right now. All right, so we love Periscope, right? I'm not going to hold anything back. We love Periscope. We love the fact that you can do things live. You know, I can do this. I can share, share things that I would otherwise not share, Okay. There's a lot of things that I would not share. I would never show a tamarindo to anyone, okay? Ever, ever, all right? I have some friends that are from Puerto Rico that would be afraid of eating this, all right? But because this is a very international audience, you know, and an audience that is interested in so many different things, you, you can learn so much from other people. 
Well, the beautiful thing is, is that you can do it here, you can do it live, and everybody's using their phone and a camera. But sometimes people just do not know what to show. Just have no clue what to show. Yeah, it, <laughs> it is self-punishment. And because they use, the, they use the phone, they treat the camera as a phone, and they just have no clue what to shoot no clue what to show. It is hard sometimes for people to put things in context. And that has has gotten me, you know, sometimes very frustrated. Exactly. Many people are asking, but they don't know what they, they don't know. Yeah, absolutely. They don't know how to give the answers because they do not know. They do not have an understanding on putting things visually within the context of the place, you know. Like, uh, I'm not criticizing that guy in particular. I think he was doing a good job. It's just that, for example, I wanted to see the big thing, the, you know. I know, exactly. So, um, you know, it serves you well to put things in context. Hi, Mark. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So, for example, all right. So, let's say I'm doing a green, sc a green machine, right? I want to show you the ingredients, I want to show you the beginning and the end product, the big, the big, the context. I guess you must have, you had to go see and uh, watch the scope. He was showing this big old crane that is used on the space shuttle to move. Is a platform that is used on the space shuttle. So he was showing, you know, and again, this is not a criticism to the guy. It's just that, you know, he is, he, he personally is a, not a cameraman and B, he is not a reporter. He's neither one of these things. He doesn't, he didn't seem to know how to put things in context. He just wanted to shoot whatever within a couple minutes. So, you know, filmmaking in this, you know, I may do a scope of just this because I see this people making this mistake over and over and over and over. And it's hard for the viewers sometimes to get what they're saying or doing because it's hard to put things in context. Um... Anyway, I, I don't know. I'm rambling. <laughs> but, you know, you typically want to, you know, and, and like, say, for example, in filmmaking, you do things by the book. You do the wide, the wide shot, the middle shot, and the close-up shots, okay? And that's how you put things in context because what you're showing in camera is just very tiny, very narrow field of view, right? I mean, like, if you saw my kitchen right now, it's a whole mess. But this is clean. This is really nice. <laughs> It's not that messy, but, you know, for example, I kind of prepared this little area so I could show you. I could show you the ingredients. I could show you the process. I could point out things, you know. I could bring in the elements closer, and, you know, I'm, I'm being descriptive. You know, I'm, I'm actually showing you the chia seeds and what they're about and what they're for, and this tells you why it's important to have chia seeds on my green machine. Otherwise, it's just seeds, right? So that's what I'm talking about. So, you know, it's, it's hard to describe things without putting things in context because people are missing the rest of the world. You're just showing this, right? You're just showing this. The rest of the world, you have to describe it somehow, some way, and you can use your camera for that. Anyway, I don't know. I may do a scope about just that, some of the basics of camera work because people sometimes really just don't get that you're periscoping, but you're periscoping with a camera. You're not just talking to people. So there's a little bit more work involved and people just don't seem to have the tools because they don't, they never needed to have the tools, right? You, well, you need to, you don't need to always tell a story when you're using a camera, but say, for example, if your scope is not about you and your face and what you're saying, then you're showing something outside of you, right? So for example, in the case of say, I, I go to the Hollywood Hills well, then I give you perspective of the grandness of it, the distance, you know, what you see, what you don't see. Hola, Michael. Michael, how are you? Good to see you. I'm just talking about camera work right now. We just went through the process of doing the green machine, which is this right here, this deliciousness. So to some extent, you do have to tell a story, Mokhtar, because otherwise you're just showing a really such a narrow point of view and, and if that's the case well do you know do that but then when you're trying to be the be the spokesperson for something grand then you have to present the grand picture that's what I'm saying 
you know, say for example, if I'm just not gonna, if I'm just gonna talk about chia seeds, well, I can show this, okay? This is all I'll show, chia seeds. And I may not even provide you the opportunity to see it at all, you know? I'll just say, yeah, so I'm using chia seeds and do that, and th that's it. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> you have to let the audience, you know, process what they're seeing. You have to give them a second. There's all, also a delay. <laughs> Why would anyone talk about chia seeds, though? Uh, I'm just giving an example, Michael and Rome. You just kind of came at the end of the scope. <laughs> but I was just, just talking about, you know, sometimes people scope and they just don't, they don't present things right um, and give it context, you know, because they're not cameramen, they're not reporters, they're not used to presenting the whole picture, you know, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, I may do a scope about that and just some of the basics on using a camera because this bad boy you see here may be a phone, but it's also a camera and it's a very powerful tool. But, you know, I don't blame anyone because in reality, most people don't, you know, most people are not trained in uh, using visual tools and a camera is nothing but a visual tool. So, you know, most people stop drawing when they're, you know, doodling when they're five or six. So I don't blame, you know, anyone for not knowing how to use a camera. That's perfectly fine. Hola, Jaime. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, let me plug into the power because I just got a 5%. Oh, oh, happening live right here. One of my bottles, guys. This is one of my, my juice bottles. Let me plug in. Hola, hola, Jaime. ¿Cómo estás? Okay, I'm plugged into power. Trying to see the stream without luck? Oh, no. I just tilted something's over. I just present it. If you wanted to see... Oh, did I break something? Oh, no. I made a chip on my little... Oh, no. I made a chip on my little... One of my little things here. Oh. Anyway, I love these. Um, Look. I made a little, made a little sliver of glass. Broken. I'm going to have to throw that one away. Um, Jaime, do you see me now? <laughs> no, this got broken. This, uh, this little thing right here. It made a little chip, little, little, little chip right here, right here. You guys see it? It's a little chip right here. Anyway, guys, um, and this is the end product. Michael and Rome, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, 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 Gailey. How are you? Good to see you guys. Um, this is the remnants of the uh, chia seeds and the uh, flax seeds. <laughs> it is actually very sweet because I use some carrots. Yes. Nice to be here. Absolutely. Oh, great to see you, Michael and Rome. I rarely see you. <laughs> The glass is broken. These are actually very cute. Look, guys. Very, very cute. And I use them often. Tamar tamarindo is known in English as tamarind. No, oh. Y este era mi tamarindo. It's tough being around the world. Yes, I know, Michael. Are you talking about time zones? After all, I need as much beauty sleep as I can get. Oh, you know what I just found out? Jaime. Jaime is my good friend from Puerto Rico, guys. He does these amazing scopes from New York. Uh, yo traje este tamarindo de, de Puerto Rico, amiguito. And then I, uh, I soaked them in water, and I put them here, and I put them in separate jars, and I froze it. This is defrosted, of course. And I used this on the green drink. I just found out that uh, the tamarind is, re tamarin is really great. Pues mira, ¿sabes qué no? No me confiscó la agricultura, no? Funny enough. I was able to pass tamarind, guys. You're typically not able to go through the airport because they confiscate everything fresh because, you know, you're not allowed to bring any pests into the U.S. Yeah, these are from Puerto Rico. I bought a bag. I put some... Some pictures. When I was in Puerto Rico back in November, I put a picture of this guy that had this amazing bag. 
<laughs> amazing, amazing bag. And so I use the I use the ingredients. Hi, my look. You could say something, but I guess I'll pass. Oh yes, pass, Michael. I know exactly what you're thinking when it comes to the tamarindo. Remove that picture from your head, okay? <laughs> you guys are so funny. This is it, Jaime. Spinach, papaya, tamarind, carrots, chia, flax seeds, and ginger. No, 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 no. I know, Michael. I know. It's okay. The appearance is not the most flattering, but it's okay. <laughs> it is so good for you. Jaime, ¿sabías que... Jaime and I speak Spanish. Uh, que tú puedes usar esto para aclarar tu piel también. And you can eat ginger by itself. Ginger. I presented the ginger. I presented the fresh ginger. Look. I cut it in little cubes. What is chia? What is chia? Um, this is ginger. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Gailey. You love ginger. Este, yo uso esto en cubitos para, con, con limón, Jaime. Y lo hago en té. Es bien chévere. Entonces, uso estas partes. Esta pongo, lo pongo en el green machine, right? Y esto, uso estas partes para los stir fries. Yep. And I freeze it. This is going back to the freezer. But then this, this is the freeze dead. Freeze dried. This is free dried. Ah, sí. Quiero la receta, sí. Uh, for that person who wanted to find out what chia seed was. So this, this is chia seed. It is actually a seed that is grown in the tropics. It's grown in Mexico and... Uh, it grows in Puerto Rico también. Jaime. Se conoce en Puerto Rico la chía. Pero mi mamá me dijo, se me olvida cómo se llama el nombre ahora. Este is a good source of omega-3s, vitamins, and trace minerals. Sí, Jaime, es que en Puerto Rico tú sabes que, que se ha perdido tantas costumbres de uso, de uso de cosas naturales. Pero en Puerto Rico también hay chía. Ah, ¿puedes conseguir achote, Jaime? It is high protein and low carbs. Yes, and it's so good for you. Chia seeds, guys. Is this enough for you guys? Whoever wanted to... Because Mokhtar said, who wants to find out about chia? And then somebody else said, oh, yes. What is chia, please? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, Michael said, who wants to find out about chia? And then Mokhtar said, what is chia? <laughs> Hi, Jada. How are you? Good to see you. Yes, many, many benefits. And I actually pointed this out. You can't tell towards the end, but... This is the list of FDA ingredients, right? And then this is the list of all the things that the FDA doesn't say that you need, but you could have. Yeah. Which is, let me show you again. All these amino acids. All these amazing amino acids. And the omega-3s. See? 178. Hi, Shada. How are you? I just did my green drink that I call Nada's Green Machine. And there's only one ingredient, guys. Only one ingredient. And that is organic chia seeds. Uh, the chia, you cannot taste chia at all. You cannot, you cannot taste chia. Not really. Now, uh, flax, flax seeds actually smell kind of fishy. Like omega-3s, kind of flax seeds. And, um... Where do I have? One second, guys. Where do I have? See? One second. And then I also use the flax seeds. Flax seeds. And flax seeds come in two different colors. This is kind of like the more cream color. And then I also have the... The more brown color. The br more brown color. This is also flag seed. See? Hi, Gailey. How are you? Good to see you. I hope my connection is good because I see that some of, some of you are kind of coming in and out. Ay, Jaime, ahora que estás aquí, ¿te acuerdas que te estaba preguntando y diciéndote que, um, que si ibas a uh, Dean and Luca? Are you still here, Jaime, or am I disconnecting? Connection is okay? Okay, good. Jaime, if you're still here, you're here. Remember how I was telling you that, oh, yeah, you know, do you go to Dean and Luca? <laughs> That's right, Jada. I, wanted, I want to see you more live. 
I want to see Turkey uh, because I love this. Um, I'm hooked on this. I don't go to Dina and the Luca, Jaime, but Dina and the Luca comes to me. That's right. And I can prove it. <laughs> I love, 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 love. I don't know. For some reason, we have like trendy things that we see in Los Angeles and these, this has become like a trendy snack in Los Angeles. I don't know, a shishi trendy snack. I love these. The mixed nuts from Dina and DeLuca. And then I went somewhere and they said, oh, yeah. I said, oh, man, I, I, I'm kind of hungry. I need to get some nuts or whatever. And they said, oh, you could have some of these. And, oh, my God, the minute they showed me the jar, I, was, I went crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're going to open one? Oh, excellent. So I have the big one, this one I bought. And then you have this. I someone offered me this, and I said, oh, "What? Do you have Dina de Luca nuts? Oh, I have no idea where they get them, but these Dina de Luca nuts are so good." And then, and then she said, "Oh yeah, but you can have more than one." Yeah, they are a little pricey, but whatever. I'll pay for these nuts. I don't care. And then she goes, "Oh yeah, you can have many more. Look." <laughs> and so I had these snacks. Oh my god. So I have the roasted cashews. I know the food is so good. I know. <laughs> Trendy snacks. I know. Like a smartphone, Mokhtar. You have no idea what trends mean until you come to Los Angeles. Then I got the uh, the hickory smoke. I haven't opened these. I haven't opened these. They come like freshly sealed. They come like the whole thing is sealed. All right. But I had these. I had the roasted uh, cashews. And then I had the uh, cranberry nut mix. I, there's still some here in here. The cranberry nut mix has uh, cranberry and uh, raisins and uh, sunflower seeds. Wow, this has become the longest scope ever on my green drink. The packaging is fancy. Everything that they do is fancy. I know, but I love it. So I got that. I got this. These. I got my share of Dino and Luca. Oh, my God. And you can have this in one sitting. It's only uh, 1.75 ounces. There you go. It is so worth it. That's why I was asking you about Dina and DeLuca, guys. <laughs> what else I'll show you? Oh, uh, were you here in my preview? Now you know what to get me, Jaime. Yes. <laughs> you can eat all these at once. This one, this one I'm still working on. This one is the largest one. And it's got all kinds of things. It's got almonds, cashews. It also has Brazil nuts. You know how people don't like Brazil nuts? You know, when you get them on the... But these are good. Hola, Jeff. Que paso? Que paso, Jeff? <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Good to see you here. If you're new to my scopes, I do these uh, Nada Green Machines. There's spinach, carrots, ginger, chia seeds, flax seeds, and this carrots and this special ingredient, tamarind from the tropics. I brought this from Puerto Rico. Yeah, these are, which are the trendy snacks? Absolutely, absolutely, Jaime. Good to see you. Y mira lo que tengo por aquí. Jaime, otra cosa que me encanta, el guava jelly de Goya, nada más y nada menos. And a lot of vodka. <laughs> Please give Rebecca a trendy snack, I know. <laughs> Big kiss to you. Abrazo y beso a ti, Jaime, a ti, a Puri. Estoy loca por verlo ya. Si sí, nos vemos corazón, que tengan buen día, okay? You mix your flax seeds and smoothies, yes, they're awesome. Yeah, flax seeds are amazing. Gracias, gracias Jaime por tu tiempo, gracias por los corazoncitos, gracias por compartir. Nos vemos, nos vemos prontito, okay? And yeah, every time you go by Dina and the look, I think of me, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, Jada, you and I have to team up. These are very trendy. What are trendy? What What is trendy? Jeff. <laughs> the chia seeds, yeah, they are, they are trendy. This scope is really worth watching. We don't eat and we're not trendy. Merci, merci, merci beaucoup. Spinach, spinach, <laughs> spin age. <laughs> yes. Carrots, 
yes, all this stuff is really good. I started doing this about four years ago because I went to a homeopath, homeopathic doctor, and she says, you should eat a little bit better. And I said, yes, I know, I agree. And she said, and uh, this is what you should have. And she gave me the recipe. And I uh, said, what, so what is, what is it that I should be having? And she says, just go to the, just go to the gross, just go to the groceries and buy this. And, uh, she says, uh, basically just try to take, uh, ah, no avocado today because my surprise ingredient today was, uh, the tamarind, the tamarind Jeff. Yes. Um, and so basically I try to go to the grocery store and just stick to the produce department. Could I show you again? The snacks? Which snacks? The Dina and the Luca? Natural candy, yes. Dina and the Luca. Is this what you wanted to see, Mokdar? Put it right here. They're very yummy. The Dina and the Luca. Dina and the Luca. Dina and the Luca. Yes, we are trendy. We are hip, okay? We are trendy. We are hip. We are cool. Oh, Mokdar, do you want to see, um, no, please, the trendy ones. Which other snacks that are trendy? I don't know what you're talking about, Mokdar. I was talking about trendy this. Trendy this being trendy. These are the trendy snacks. Dina and the Luca is trendy. Ah, are you serious, Shada? No. Uh, only one person has called me Shada. But that's because I think they were just talking really fast and they were not thinking because you were not in the scope. <laughs> but we should mess up with people, Jada, just for the fun of it. Like I said, <laughs> we should change our pictures to just, you know, the same picture and then say, oh, this is Neda, this is Shada. And people will go nuts. And then we, we will have them guess based on our personalities and what we say and what we ask. Yes, absolutely. Here, oh, you want to see the inside, Mokdar? Dina and De Luca. Here we go. Dina and De Luca, Mokdar. Slim Shader. <laughs> I know it's hard to keep up with what's going on. I understand if anyone messes up my name, I get it. I don't mind it. I don't care. Insipid? What is insipid? Insidu insiduzement? Insiduzement? Inside? Oh, inside. All right, so, well, this is the inside of this one. <laughs> because I ate it. <laughs> the roasted cashews. <laughs> but this is the top. Uh, the cranberry and nut mix. This is the one that's still. <laughs> this is the inside. <laughs> what happened there? Nada happened there, Michael. Nada happened. <laughs> Here you go. The inside. Oh, you're taking pictures. <laughs> There's the inside. Inside. Let me show you a little better. Let me move the phone. Here we go, Marta. This is the inside. It's uh, raisins, cranberries, and you can see one in the middle is sunflower, sunflower seed. Is the cranberry and nut mix. Cranberry and nut mix. These are fancy nuts, guys. These are not just your everyday nuts that you would find on a on the groceries at all. And then uh, if you want to see. Uh, if you want to see what's inside, look. This is a little bit better. I ate most of the... It had almonds. I ate most of the almonds. Here you go. <clears throat> Fancy nuts. Dean and DeLuca. There you go, guys. There you go, Mark Dar. Kind of in focus. Now you're going to tell me... Mokhtar, why you want to take pictures of the <laughs> Dina and the Luca nuts? <laughs> I'm not 
crazy about raisins. I used to be crazy about raisins, but not anymore. And this is the bigger one. There we go. It's got Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts. These are Brazil nuts. Cashews. Cashews. Almonds. These are... <laughs> oh my god, Jeff. These are Dean's nuts. Yes. Dean and Deluca, please don't sue me. <laughs> These are expensive, but they are so, so, so good. So good. I promise you, they are so good. So good. It's not the nuts that's trendy, it's the brand. Uh, Mokhtar. Hello from Italy. Is the brand that is, you know, getting the nuts in the fancy jar is what's trendy. It's not the nuts. We have nuts in so many other ways, right? But it's, it's the, the jars. Dino De Luca, again, please don't sue me. <laughs> Hello, Port Antica. How are you? I'm just uh, having fun showing people some of the ingredients and the things that I enjoy having. And I just did this uh, green drink that I call, in fact, like a, a smartphone. Absolutely, Mokhtar. Yes. So say, for example, some people would prefer, you know, iPhone versus Android. I prefer Android. I don't want to have every single product electronic in my house to be Apple because I already have an iPad and a, and a computer. And this is the end product. It's got spinach, carrots, chia seeds, flax seeds, ginger, and the surprise ingredient, tropical surprise ingredient today was the tamarind, guys. All right, Jeff. <laughs> and you know guava, right, Mokhtar? You know guava, guava jelly. I love the guava. <laughs> Jeff, you're so funny. Jeff, how often do you sh do you host your show, your trivia show, your uh, your quest? I love this. I love. Oh, you know what I have this with, Mokhtar? Look at this. So I'm very international, right, guys? Yes, you can have some guava jelly. You could have some guava jelly with. I just cooked this, guys. I showed it in my previous green drink. I'm in California, Porto. Oh, you want to send me uh, guava jelly from Hawaii? I would love to have some guava jelly from Hawaii. I know, I like natural foods. Americans have a lot to learn when it comes to foods. We've been so obsessed over getting things so prepared and so in a bag. <laughs> no, that if life could come in a bag, Americans would have it, <laughs> which is so bad. You never know what comes in a bag. I am an American and, and I resist the temptation. Where is my baggie? Hold on. You have good food in Italy. I know, you know, I think that by far e Europeans out of People anywhere around the world have the best lifestyle. All are from... Well, ah, here we go. Here, Mokhtar. Can anyone tell me what this is? Jeff, you saw it. I already cooked it. This comes from India, guys. And this is papad. You know what you have in the Indian restaurants, guys? When you go and they serve you, you know how instead of chips they give you this? Um, it is not bread. It's like, um, it's like, like the little brittle, I'm going to show you, I'm going to pull one out. I'm pulling this one out. Is the, the papad. This is uncooked. It's made out of, no, it's made out, this is not naan. Look how thin it is. Look how thin. I should learn to cook. <laughs> It is, no, it's papad. When you go to the Indian restaurant, guys, they give you this fried. Some Indian restaurants. I should learn to cook spaghetti. Yeah, not bread, but like chips. Yeah, it's like chips. And then when it's cooked, it becomes, and this is real brittle, guys. I'm going to show you. 
See? It's really brittle. This is made out of uh, a bean. It's kind of like a dried crepe. Yes. It's made out of a bean. I'm going to show you. This is what's on the inside. It's made out of this. It's made out of udad flour. Is a bean. It could be bird food, yes. <laughs> right here, the ingredients. Udad flour is a bean. I had to ask. I was like, what is Papa made out of? And I went to the Indian restaurant and they told me, oh, it's like, oh, it's a bean. Oh, I may have looked it up on Google. And then, so from this, you put it in oil. Do you know Passage Brady in. No, I don't believe I do in Paris. And then uh, within seconds, it becomes like this. And I have this with my guava jelly. Oh, absolutely. No worries, Tonio. I, I actually, this is a much longer scope than I was thinking it was going to be. <laughs> yes. You could make, you could definitely make birds happy with this. I know. And it's so yummy. I typically go like this. And now I'm going to show you guys. You want to see something exotic, Mokhtar, also? From my kitchen. I typically would actually have these little things. This, I would dip them into this. Because this is rose petal jam. Where are the birds? The birds are flying in to eat some of these. <laughs> have you had this rose petal jam I know oh my god it's the opposite of yes and uh, so I did these in, it, this is just sugar guys but it's so yummy and it smells so amazing it is it's a rose petal preserve and it's so amazing and uh, if I twist it fast you know you can see a petal, petal hanging in from the wall Petals. Those are rose petals, guys. Rose petals. I know. It is like honey. Rose petals on sugar. They're not cosmetics, no. <laughs> These are edible. This is edible. It is. This one comes from Armenia. My home is a fancy grocery store. Yes, Mokhtar. Because I enjoy foods from all over the world. Anything else unique that I would have that I could show you? Mm. No, that's about what I can show you. That is, uh, <laughs> these are all cosmetics. <laughs> Actually, you know, Portia, uh, you know that you can use this to brighten your skin? I just read it. Yeah. Uh, anything else that I can show you that is exotic? Oh, um, I have some chocolate from Puerto Rico. Look, Magdar. I know, right? This chocolate comes from Puerto Rico. It comes from the Caribbean. And it's 80% dark chocolate. See? Dark chocolate. Origin from Puerto Rico. You know it, how it can be used? Exfoliate your face with Dina DeLuca. I know, right? That would be the, the fanciest, most expensive exfoliator. <laughs> Oh, guys, I was supposed to have gone a long time ago. Nada Labs. It's food, Nada Lab. Yes. You may be right, Mokhtar. It's food and technology, Nada Labs. Wind filter and uh, food, Nada Labs. I cover all kinds of areas. I have many different interests. And this is, these are the same guys, but tinier. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? What's that? You mean the uh, chocolate? Rebecca, I, I just did my green scope <laughs> and my green drink, I don't know, ages ago. And I'd stayed for showing people the, the amazing groceries that I have in my home, including the, uh, the Dina and the Luca nuts that I love. <laughs> oh, something else that I have. Uh, if you guys have Indian restaurants, can you, someone tell me what this is? Can someone tell me what this is? <laughs> I like Indian food. I like all kinds of foods, but um, 
this is a facial tutorial. Oh, Rebecca, Jeff has taken me to a place that I don't want to go to. We've been making so much fun about so many things. These are sprinkles, yes, but there's a, there's a little seed inside. When you go to an Indian restaurant and you walk out and there's a little jar with that you can scoop, you can have this as well. Do you know what this is, Shada? You may have seen this too in Turkey. <laughs> yes, I like to eat my food too. I know they've been making fun of me. Yes, exactly, Porta. That's exactly what it is. I forget, what is the seed inside? Is it anise? I think it's anise. It is anise on the inside. Let me see if I could separate. I don't know. I, I don't know how I would be able to separate. Uh, this is good for you. And good for your... Uh... <laughs> not, not with a U, Jeff. Not with a U. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's anise on the inside. Hi, <laughs> <Aye>, Jeff. <laughs> Way to bring down the quality of my scope. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard, Porcha, also. <laughs> Jeff is amazing. Oh, I try to separate one, but it comes so tiny. And it's, I don't think you can see it. No, never mind. I'm obsessed with this, Rebecca. The Dina and DeLuca. Dina and DeLuca. Fancy snacks. <laughs> anyway, guys, I've made officially a mess in my kitchen. <laughs> oh, guys, you guys are so hilarious. I'm going to throw these away. The surprise ingredient is the uh, tamarind, Rebecca. You know tamarind. You know that this actually brightens your skin? This was a mess. It became a mess. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> I brought tamarind from Puerto Rico, Rebecca. You're not supposed to be able to, but um, I guess um, it didn't. Um, the agriculture department in Puerto Rico does not allow you to bring any fresh anything, but I was able to bring like a pound. And then I soaked it. I separated the seeds from the pulp and the water you know, took out the seeds, and then I froze it, and then I'm using them on my green drinks. And um, it's amazing, the the amazing, the properties, the uh, nutritional properties are amazing. And it's tasty, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's so hilarious. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you, because now I have to clean up. And uh, it was great to see you all. Tamarind is like candy. This is tamarind. If you didn't know that before, I know I've shown it many times. All right, everybody. Good to see you all. Uh, I hope you're doing something that you enjoy today and doing something healthy for you, even if you're having pizza later. I will say hello to the birds. Yes. Smoothies, directions, anus, and more. I know. <laughs> Thanks to Jeff. <laughs> oh, Jeff. <laughs> all right, Rebecca. Good to see you. I'll see you on your scopes in Hawaii. I'll see you, Shada, in Turkey. I'll see you. Oh, there's a lot of food that remains. I know, Mokdor. I know. You're going to you're gonna have a, buck, uh, a burger now, Jeff. <laughs> oh, there's so much more food. I know there's so much more food. You know, the one thing I, I'm also going to do very likely. Do you guys know Maria Cookies? I won't eat too much. I was thinking of doing, I have some uh, company later. And I may do some um, s'mores with Maria cookies, guys. S'mores with Maria cookies. But I don't eat much gluten anymore. So I'm thinking that maybe I won't. And these are the cookies. These are the cookies I was thinking of doing with these. And uh, some marshmallows. And uh, the Puerto Rican chocolate that I showed you. I got some Puerto Rican chocolate as well, Rebecca. This one is so yummy. It's 80% chocolate, just the way I like it. Yeah. You smell s'mores. I may do them later, Rebecca. You guys want to see a, a s'mores scope? I will do them, but I'll definitely won't eat them. 
because I have some company later. I started not to eat for 20 weeks, I know, so I can save money. And then, yeah, absolutely, right? <laughs> and this is the actual chocolate. I, you open you open the little box, and it, they come in this really fancy wrapping. Chocolate from Puerto Rico. Oops. Tell you who is my company. Who is Ting Ting? <laughs> You're curious now. Anyway, guys, with that, I wrap it. I leave it. I hope you're doing something good. I already said my goodbyes, so I'm gonna go. I have a few things to do. Yeah, what is Ting Ting? Mugdar. Leave you with my green drink. Which I should have had. Great to see you, Rebecca. I adore you. You do these amazing scopes from Hawaii. So I very much appreciate that. I get to see the Hawaii that I never saw before. Through your eyes and your sunsets and your walking about in Hawaii. It's really amazing. It's really great. I'm enjoying Periscope, guys. It's a really terrific way to travel without having to spend the time or the money. It's really nice without having to do with uh, customs. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess I didn't really get the answer from Octor, but that's okay. I'll leave you guys. Have a good day wherever you're at, whatever city, state, or country you are at. This is Nada Neat, filmmaker in Los Angeles, saying hello to you from Los Angeles and showing you my Nada's green machine. Keep the money for the Jews. Yes, I know. I, I just ran out of papaya. I'm suffering. I need to go get another papaya, which is the reason why I started these scopes is because I was going to show a friend of mine a fresh papaya and I don't have any anymore. It's the little, I just have a little bit on the, in the freezer and I'm suffering. So I need, I need to go get more produce, more fresh vegetables. If I do that in a few days, I will show you what I got. So, bye-bye, everybody. Viva papaya! That's right. Woohoo! All right, everybody. Have a terrific day. Hasta luego. Ciao.